right, so with that said, let's go on and uh, we'll close out the show with this last topic since, you know, obviously nobody can see us. Nobody can get to us. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Facebook said unable to connect. Twitch said sending data. YouTube said sending data. And then Periscope says online. I don't know what's up. So we'll figure it out. It's uh, a restream issue. E- everybody can uh, can obviously get the podcast. If you're listening, we appreciate you guys. Because <laughs> this is bonkers. Um, all right. So we wanted to do our top 10 college football stadium bucket list. Uh, These are stadiums we've never been to. Yeah, well, some, yeah, I guess some, you've got one, right? No, no, I changed it out. No, nope. okay, all, all stadiums it. we've never been to. Okay. I'm fine with that. All stadiums that we have not been to. So that knocks out quite a few for me. Uh, Doesn't knock out many for me. I, I, I have, I just don't go to a lot. Of that's, that, I've, I've been to, I've been the to old, a lot the older the I've gotten, Congress. The less so, I go and I didn't have the money when I was younger. Uh, Northwestern would have been on this list, uh, Ryan Field, but we went last year. So there you go. So for our Westlot Pirate boys, that's what I don't up. know that it would have made my list, but I love those guys. Oh, I love those guys, but I, I did want to go because it's, I mean, it's a really old stadium, and that's kind of... That's kind I'm of glad thing. I went. I yeah. don't know that I ever appreciated it before actually going and seeing it. Oh, that makes sense. That I, makes I, sense. I, I just, it would have, yeah, I'm just on. it would not have been on my list at all. Now that I've gone and now that I've seen it, I have a much more respect for it. There you go. So, with that said, I'm going to go... We're going to have on. a lot of the same ones, I'm guessing. I would, I'd be willing to wager... That's Absolutely. okay. So, uh, so let's go ahead and mine are uh, in no real order. All right, I've got mine in an order, but I can obviously. I mean, I could change and them mine, around. Mine are in absolutely no order. There you go. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna let you go first. Uh, the the first one for me. I, I, okay, the, this one is is the most important one for me to go to. Okay, and that's Camp Randall. That's on my list. I I want to go. I want to find. It's harder now with Wisconsin and Fox and doing the Big Twelve kickoff to find a big night game because the Big Ten is big at all their big games, kind of in the afternoon and not really at night. I want to go to a night game at Camp Randall That's, so bad. I think I will say this: we we preface this with we want all of these games to be big games. Like we want the stadium full, all that kind of mess. We, yeah. you know, it, you don't want to go against some non-conference opponent and whatever. Um, yeah, but, I could care less about that. There you go. So Wisconsin for you, mine is the Rose Bowl. I have not been to the Rose Bowl. Uh, I I want to see the sight lines. I want to see the stadium split fifty fifty. I want two teams that wear different colors. Uh, you know, at last year with it, it, it looked like a Stanford home game between Wisconsin and Oregon. I mean, it was red and green. It was, it, you know, it was crazy. So it, it looked like Christmas. It was fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, I want to see the Rose Bowl at the exact time that they have it every year where the sun is just setting all that kind of mess. Pasadena is ridiculous. So Rose Bowl for me is my number one. What uh, What's your number two? Neyland Stadium is my second choice. That's I a, want that's a good to choice. stand I want to stand amongst 100,000 people. My my issue, I'm not the biggest Tennessee fan in the world. I do like Tennessee. If you've watched this show for the last three years, I've kind of become like the apologist for them. Come on now. We got to get out of the cellar. I just think the sport is so much better when one of the big boys is good and not a whipping dog. Um, I want to stand amongst 100,000 screaming fans. The Smoky Mountains are one of the most beautiful places in the world. Knoxville is a beautiful. Knoxville's beautiful a part great of town. It's right there off the river. Like that, that is that is perfection to me. If I had the ability to go to school anywhere and I could have afforded it to hang out, spend time, get my education, and party in any city, it probably would have been Tennessee. It would have been Knoxville. I will say, look, I, I went to two games there. Fantastic. And Absolutely you went to two games fantastic. where you rooted for the other team. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm going to want to go to these games rooting for the home team. Yeah. I yeah. want to find a game in which I want them to win because no, it's sense. fun to go and to be a part of that crowd and not against that crowd. No, no, you, that is a very, very valid point. Uh, number two for me, I want to go to Penn State. I want to go to Beaver Stadium. I want the white out. I want it to be a primetime, a big time game with a hundred something thousand people up there where it's chilly, it's cold. You know, I want to see that in person. I've, I've never been, uh, I've got family members that went last time Alabama played there back in 2012, 
12 or 13 or whenever it was, 11 maybe. Um, it's everything that I heard. The fans could not be nicer. Uh, the stadium itself, like the location and whatnot, is unbelievable. And I've always heard nothing but good things about it. I want to go and check out Beaver Stadium. I think it is uh, one of the coolest atmospheres in college football. And, uh, and yeah, hopefully, eventually, I will get that opportunity. All right, who, uh, who you got you, for three? You've, you've, got, you've got two that are probably two of the most popular picks. Yeah. I'll, I'll pass on both. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'll pass on both. So why, like, why I wouldn't say I would never go, and if somebody, like, provided an opportunity for me to go or I was getting paid to go, then I would be there. But I'll, I'll pass on both. Hey, you're you're going to hate my third one, then. That's, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, my third one, I'm going to do Notre Dame. I, I never grew mind. up. That's my okay. third one. <laughs> no, I grew up in a, in a very traditional Italian Catholic family. This is how I was raised, okay? And, and my family – do not like sports. I am the one sports junkie in this family. They like hunting, fishing, NASCAR. Okay. Yeah. They, they are not sports fans at all. I was as black a sheep an outcast as anybody could imagine. But I will tell you the one team they talked about was Notre Dame my oh, entire yeah. life. My grandfather wore a lot of hats. The only sports hat he wore was Notre Dame's. Makes sense. I want and to go just, see. Notre Dame it, Stadium. I want to it see just, it. That's a place where I – some of these places, it's the game and it's the stadium, and yes, I want to see that. Others is I need the app. I need the whole experience. I need two or three days walking the campus. I need to, I need to stand in the, in, in the church, and I need, to, I need to go to the mass. I need to see the things and, and experience these things as just – I don't know. That would be an homage to my granddad. And and I want to see touchdown Jesus, and that's I want to hundred percent what I was. Gonna I want to experience and take it all in. That's I. I want to go to a day game. I don't want to go to a night game because they. I mean, that's just kind of a recent thing. I I want to go see a day game yeah. at Notre Dame, uh, touchdown Jesus, all that. At, I want to sit on the. You know, obviously they've been doing the re- renovations and all that kind of mess. But you know, if they got any of those wooden bleachers left, all that kind of. I want to sit there. I want to. I'm not so married feel, to nostalgia that I, I have am. to have. But but I you know. So I, now obviously like. Yeah, it's fine. I'll I'll deal with the others, but uh, but yeah, I I would like to see it the way that it was. Uh, but I'm cool with the way that it is now. I got no problem with that. Uh, go ahead and give me your uh, your fourth one here because we we both had Notre Dame for three. William Bryce Stadium, the cockpit, baby. I know this is not on anybody else's list, but I, you man, know, I, I it's on my others receiving votes list. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you to the the opening. The opening of that stadium, when when they start a game and they start playing, you know, Mystery Two uh, Three Thousand, all stuff like it, and the lights yeah. going, that place is as South Carolina is not a great football team. Okay, this is not LSU at night. That this is not Auburn and Jordan Air. This is not that. But th- don't tell those fans that. Okay, this is a fan base that Lou Holtz went O and ten. Oh, and what? 10 and or 11. 11. How many games did they play back 11. then? Yeah. It was 0 and 11. 11. That's right. They didn't play 12 games. I knew that. 0 and 11. And literally three months later, when season tickets went on sale for the next year, they sold out the stadium. Yeah. That, that's a fa- When I was in high school, I remember that. One of my best friends is a massive Gamecock fan. And, and one of the reasons our friendship sh- is so strong is I, I love South Carolina. I have always been in the tank for South Carolina. I can't tell you why other than the fact of that fan base meant something to me when I was in high school and I saw this putrid team go out and then I saw their fans say, we don't care. We're showing up. We're supporting our guys. Listen, I love my Tigers. Tiger Stadium's not going to be 80,000 strong if they go 0-11. It's no, just not going to happen. It's, it's just hey, not going to happen. Kentucky football is the same way. Kentucky football fans sell out that stadium – Constantly, like and and they've been better as of late, but that program Stoops is a over massive time, hire for them. Oh yeah, Stoops has changed that program a lot. So and and they've had you know successful seasons here and there, but every single year they sell out of their season tickets and they support yep. their fan base. And it, it look South Carolina supports their football team. Period. Uh, my mm-hmm. fourth was Wisconsin, but I'm going to go on and move on to the next one because everything you just said with jump around and all that in Camp Randall, I want to go. I want to drink with everybody up there. I want to have a good time. 
Uh, my fifth one is Kyle Field. I want to go to Texas A&M, check it out. You know, it, everybody arm in arm, back and forth. I want to be a part of it. I want to feel the stadium swaying. Um, I want to see the new renovations, all that stuff that they've done to, to up it after Johnny Manziel. I, I want to see all that. I think Kyle Field is, uh, is fantastic. Michael jumped in on Twitch uh, before everything cut out. He said, uh, uh, he said, still nothing, Gary, but looking at the title, I may be a little biased, but College Station has to be in the top ten. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Kyle me, Field's yeah. actually, it was my, my next pick as well. Okay. Um, I have been to the Yale. I was fortunate enough to do that while I was in Not college, my first that. freshman year. Um, spectacular evening for a young freshman in college. Um, but I had to go back to Washita and miss the game. So my, my ride going back was leaving Saturday, and I, and I, and I missed the game. Um, that's a place that I'm absolutely going. I, that's a place I'm going to make it to. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, go ahead and give me your uh, your six there. Uh, I'm I'm gonna get off the beaten path a hair, and my my sixth and seventh are gonna be in the same lines. I I want to go to Jerry World. I want to go to. I know it's not really? a college stadium, but lots of college football is played there, yeah. and I want to go to a college game in Jerry World. Okay, okay, I can uh, I can understand that. Uh, mine is a little off the beaten path as well. Uh, number six for me, I want to go to Cal. I want to go to Berkeley. I want to go to Cal Memorial Stadium. I want to see the trees, uh, all that kind of mess. I, I think it's a fascinating place to be able to watch a football game. Uh, I would obviously rather be in the stands, but at some point I would like to go out and I'd like to climb the trees and you know sit up there and actually watch a football game from there. Uh, they don't care as much about football up there, but the scenery is outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Uh, going to San Francisco, checking out Berkeley, checking out you know all that kind of stuff over there. Uh, obviously, I've been over there a, a few times. I have not been to a game. I would really like to go to a game there. So, yeah. who uh, who you got for seven? My my seven is is uh, along the same lines. It's a brand new stadium. I want to go to Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Okay, okay. And we are gonna have college football there. Yes. And and LSU is already kind of in negotiations with having having a couple of those neutral site games. And could I will you, tell you, could you imagine if LSU is in Vegas, I, I, you will find Chris in Vegas. I, I can't imagine a bunch that, of a bunch of Cajuns. They are not drinking that place dry, but I promise you, they will try. try. They will try. <laughs> People might die, but they. You think COVID took out some folks? Oh Lord! Let the let the let the Tigers oh. come to Vegas. That might take out some folks. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that that could be uh, that could be a lot of. It fun. won't be me. It won't be me. I am not that. I can't do that. I I would be shunned with all of my LSU friends and family for my level of being able to handle alcohol. But that they will they will give it the college try. That makes sense. Yeah, I I could uh, I could get down with that. Uh, my next on the bucket list. Now, I would prefer that this happen when the team is good. And they haven't been for a few years now. But Canvas Stadium, Colorado State, the scenery around Colorado State, and the fan base, that is a fan base that cares, really cares. And when their team is good, that place is hopping. I would love to go see a game. that holds like 35,000 people. Uh, but the, the backdrop of the mountains and all that out there, at Canvas Stadium looks incredible and I've heard nothing but good things and that is a small but devout fan base uh, that I would love to go be a part of you know a tailgate and whatnot to see exactly how things go down down there um, I mean Colorado State again hadn't been great as of late I would love to go when they're really good uh, I think it'd still be fun even when they're not but at, the scenery itself is worth going out to uh, uh, where is it Colorado Springs yeah so yeah I'd love to go to, uh, to Colorado State and check that out yeah. uh, who you got for eight uh, I'm going to go to Oregon, Austin Stadium. That's my number eight. There you go. That that place looks incredible. That's a great fan base. Um, and and the just the amount of kind of money and technology that Nike yeah. Phil Knight has put into that place. Well, the stadium uh, looks pretty incredible. Absolutely incredible. incredible. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So I, I would you, love to Eugene check it out. seems like a paradise for a fat guy who doesn't like humidity and hot weather. Oh yeah. And I've I've heard that the stadium itself is 
incredibly loud. I think it only holds what, like sixty five thousand something like yeah, it's that. It's not super big, but I but yeah, they, no, that place gets loud. Built, you can tell on TV it gets loud. Yeah, you the way it's built, it just kind of yeah. keeps that sound in there. And yeah, I'd I'd love to see that. Love to see that. Uh, number eight for me was Oregon. I'm going to move on to, uh, to number nine for me. Uh, I want to go to Kinnick stadium. We we're very, we're, we're getting to the end. I wonder if we're going to be thumb on Kinnick stadium as well. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I want to go. I want to wave at the kids. I want to be there for a night game. Uh, I, I want to see Kinnick stadium and, and be a part of the tailgate experience. All that like Iowa has a, again, very dedicated fan base. The stadium itself, you know, a lot of history, a lot of everything else, you know. And, and if I had gone full history, I probably would have done, like, Nebraska and, and stuff like that as well. But – because Memorial Stadium is is pretty cool. But can it, it can't like, just be history, though. It has to yeah. be history and relevancy. Like, yeah. You have to be entertaining right now also. And and Iowa is entertaining. Yeah, I was still a competitive football team. Nebraska's not even a competitive football team. No, not right now. Not right now. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like Kinnick Stadium. That's – uh. That's definitely on my bucket list. I want to go see, you know, what's going on up there. Yep. Me too. I second all that. My last one. Okay. I I would like to go see a game at West Point. And this is a little bit Notre Dane-ish. Yep. I would like to go to Army Stadium. And and I would but but so much of that is is walking around and seeing and and witnessing all the things around West Point. That's it. I, I had that on my others receiving boats as well. Yep. Um my my last one is McLean Stadium in Waco. I want to go to Baylor. Uh, the new stadium looks oh, bonkers. Man, I didn't even think of that. There, because because I'm I, all I remember is their old stadium. Yeah, the new no, one. No, that's dude. That's a health choice. That's it. Yeah, uh, I yeah, can I've, get to Waco a lot easier, and I can get to, <laughs> I can get to West Point. Yeah, you got that right. Uh, <laughs> my others receiving votes. I had Washington uh, Husky Stadium. I had uh, I had Williams Bryce South Carolina. I had. Uh, Yale and Harvard. So, so I, I also Army. had Yale and Harvard in, in considering I picked Army over those two. Um, but, yeah. I, I'm wondering, like, I thought about going to Annapolis, like what that would be like. Uh, I just don't – because it's such it's a big same. city and it's not really a college town. Yeah, I think that's that's part of my, my issue. There. My, my issue is Annapolis is virtually in Baltimore. Yeah. And, you know, you're – like there's a lot of people. It's not. There was no college town feel to that. Yeah, Naval Academy. It's just not the same as West Point, which is tucked away in the middle of nowhere. Now you got that right. You got that right. All right. I don't know what happened to the stream today, but uh, hopefully we'll get it up. Yeah, we got to figure that out. But who knows? But the podcast lives on, and the video is recorded, so we are good on that. We should not. Can have we any get problems. them back up on Facebook? And yeah, I'm, I'm going to upload them. Like all that. It'll be on YouTube, right? Yeah, it'll be on YouTube. It'll be on Facebook. I'll get them uploaded. So it'll be all good. We so, missed out on our friends. Yeah, we did. We didn't have uh, everybody chiming in, and that kind of that kind of sucked. But uh, again, if you're listening to the podcast or you're watching this on the replay, make sure you jump in every day. Typically, we don't have any problems, but today, when you're dealing with internet every day, it kind of becomes an issue. So uh, it, once in a while, we'll have this crap happen. It is what it is. Hopefully, you don't hate us forever. Uh, go to winningcureseverything.com. Go to uh, uh, good gra- tunicatravel.com. Good gracious. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to the podcast. All that wonderful stuff. Leave us a nice review if you would so kindly. Share the show out with your friends. All of that good stuff. As always, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.